Well, hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are going to be changing the fog lights on the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. If these lights are brighter than what's there now, I will later change the driving lights, the low beams. The bulb is H11 for the fogs and the low beams, so they're the same bulb. And they're not super, super bright, they're hot halogens. So you can actually drive with your fog lights on at night to help the low beams and you're not going to blind anybody because it's just another H11 halogen. But I got the brightest halogen I could get. We'll show them to you right now. I actually had them in the door carrying them around for a little while. But I got the Silver Star Ultra H11. The Grand Cherokee with the halogen bulbs. To, compared to the Cherokee that I had, these are way dimmer. It just seems harder to see at night. But let's go outside. So this is a reach in and feel to do things uh, to get it out. Or you can pop these rivets out and move this whole thing back so you can see better but you'll have to have replacement rivets to put that back so i'm just going to reach up in there do it by feel and try not to touch the bulb because these are good bulbs and uh, if the brightness is the same i'll save them one thing i do want to mention is up in here is a little tab that you can take out and it gives just a little more slack on this fender liner to move it, to get up in there and remove them. But I can't do it and record too, so it's really not a whole lot I can show you up in there. Okay, so I've got the fog lights changed out. They're much easier to change out than the low beams. And I said if they're much brighter, I can tell a difference at night with them, I'll change the top ones. So these are with the high beams on. Of course, fog lights go off when the high beams are on. And you can see there's some, these lenses have some scratches in them. And I'm sure that hinders some of the light. And there's no way you're gonna polish that out. That's actually in the lens. And this one's the same way. And this is a year 2121, so they're not holding up that well, if you ask me. I'm not sure what causes that. I do believe the halogens are brighter. We'll know more when we get this thing out and drive it at night. I guess I could always just drive it down the road like that. Well, hello, this is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our videos. Uh, in this video, we are going to change out our low beam bulb for the Silver Star Ultra. Now, I've already changed out the fogs to the same bulb, and I noticed quite a bit of difference in the brightness. So, I am now going to do the low beams. I, I did the fogs first because it's just easier. You can just uh, reach in behind up in there through that little hole and you can change them out now there is a, a thing here that you're supposed to be able to change these bulbs out with but i've been told it's easier to go in through the hood so i'm just going to take a quick look and see which way i want to do this so the first thing i've done is put this thing in off-road two which raised it up to where that little cap is easier to access up in there i'm gonna twist it you just twist it out Not sure which way I'm supposed to go here. It's like I went 
too far. Right there looks like where it's supposed to be. And there we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that like that or not. I may have to do go in through the top and what they do is they take this breather box here out and then they say you can access down in there. So I'm gonna play with it a little bit and see which way I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out. First thing I'm gonna do is get a straight slot screwdriver and remove this off of the breather. So I pulled this off the breather box then I pulled this little hose back here off. And I'm gonna take the lid off by removing these little clamps here. And then you'll lift up and pull back to get that off there. Now I'm gonna pull the breather out, which I have just replaced the other day. And then there's rubber that goes over these pins. There's one back here, one there, one there. I'm trying to see if there's any bolts. Looks like there's one right here. So it looks like we're gonna pull up and pull out that way. I've never taken this out before. So let's just see if that just pops out. So you want to take this little seal off of this little holder that holds it on just a slit in this rubber that slides over that T. That's the only thing in there that I see. It looks like it loosened up quite a bit. Okay, so I got that loose there and I worked it off of this. And I did just pull up and release the rubber off of the pins and then I'm tilting it up toward this way. I have to work it around these and we're just going to pull this box plumb out. Okay now that breather box is out of there and you can see your water windshield washer reservoir. Okay, so the bulb on this side is your high beam, and this one is your low beam, H11 bulb. And that's what I'm trying to see if I can reach. Okay, now that I've pulled that out, let's see if I can get you guys down in there. It's right back here. I hope I'm getting you because I can't see what I'm recording. But there's a rubber cap that we're going to pull off here and if you look right over here is the high beam and it's pretty easy to get to but i'm gonna try to i think this just pulls out it's rubber i may need two hands to do it and there's no place to really leave the phone in here all right so this is a rubber plug that covers the low beam light you can see it just pushes in, pops out. And then that, let's see if I can get you back in there. Exposes the bulb, which is way up in there. I don't even know if y'all can see it in there. Okay, since I decided to go in through the top, I lowered the Jeep all the way down to the entry mode. And that gets it down. It's just a booger bear for me to get my hand in there to grab a hold of it. Okay guys, I couldn't get my fingers in there to get that light bulb twisted out. Tell that one's got a burn spot on it. But I took a chainsaw tool and cut it up to where it fit over it and reach in there and get it out. It made it a lot easier. And that's going into the top. Will it work on this side over here? We'll see when I get over there. 
Okay, so I got the driver's side in and I got the rubber back on there. I'm gonna put the airbox back in and then this side will be done. And on this side, my little homemade tool helped a lot to get that bulb out. Hopefully it's gonna help on the passenger side. On passenger side, I'm gonna move this, pop this up and see if I can get in there from the top too. Well, I did get the cover removed from going up through the fender well hole right here. It's right up in there. I don't know. I can feel the light. If I can get it twisted out, maybe I can do it this way. We'll have to see if my little tool will help me. Okay, guys, I got the passenger side out. Got a little smudge spot, but the bulb's still good. I mean, they were still working. But I'm putting the extra bright ones in. And I just I moved the radiator uh, reservoir out of the way. I left this back to go ahead and pop that back in spot. I didn't move that and uh, I went over the top of these wires. You can see where the hole is in the fender down there and the lights way back up in there and I had just enough room that I could get my homemade tool up in there and it fits like I said, over the, the light. And I twist just a little bit and it come right out. Uh, you may not need it on this side, but it just, the little tool made it help. Uh, I couldn't get my hands in there real good to twist that thing. Okay guys, I got it in. I actually put one arm up through that hole and I used my finger to push on the light and then I use my other hand to twist it clockwise to lock it in place. Uh, fixing to put this on. Probably can do it from up here. And then I'll put this, which just had a bolt here and a bolt in here. And uh, I'll put that back in place and the lights are done.